What's up everyone, Bartol is Hideout Gaming here, and today I have a very special episode. It's me with Johnny and Seth again to talk about the remasters. Boys, how are we? Fantastical, thanks for having us. Amazing, as usual. It's always a special episode when we get together. <laughs> oh yeah, especially Absolutely. to talk about the remasters. It's finally happening. It's a few days away, like three weeks or something. How are we feeling? Did you did you guys pre-order already? I have, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I have no reason not to. They're not going to come out with a physical edition, so screw yeah. it. Yeah. Not yet, at least. Not yet. Um, I will, but I've got a few games on my um, list, so I'm just thinking about which one I prioritize. I'll probably end up getting this one because it'll be the one that, you know, so many games these days take so much of your time, at least with these ones, they won't take too much of your time. No. They're quick, yeah. nice games. Well, they're not easy games, but they are quicker than most. I know. You're a Switch player as well. You'll be getting it on that, yeah. will you? Exactly, yeah. Oh, well, I have the Switch, so it's it sits there. I don't have too many games on it, but it's a type of game that you'd, you'd quite like just to pick up and just carry around. Unfortunately, in Jersey, commute, well, you know, fortunately, in Jersey, <laughs> commuting isn't really a thing. It yeah. takes five minutes to get to the office. If I was living in London on the tube, that would be ideal, but no. Yeah, I already pre-ordered on PlayStation. I thought I was going to pre-order on the Switch to take it away with me. But I thought, no, I just want to be quiet in a quiet room with no one yeah. around me. You want to be engrossed in it. Just to literally embrace everything that this game has for, to, to offer me, you know? Yeah, you uh, want the big screen in 4K, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait. To, I can't wait, man. It's been a long time coming. Long time coming. Anyway, okay, we got a good update. Uh, last week, a few, a few days ago, like four or five yeah. days ago. Yeah, from uh, Bartoli's Hideout Gaming, right? Yeah, you can see yeah. that video on the Bartoli's Hideout uh, Gaming YouTube channel, of course. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, I was looking forward for a trailer. I was hoping they would give us a trailer or, you know, something else. But I guess a post on the PlayStation blog will do. Uh, yeah, they give us a little, a few pictures, a few arts. Uh, they showed us enough, you know, and and yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, I feel like the pictures look better than the trailer, strangely. So I feel like they've done a lot of work, you know. Yeah, they're still they're, they're still doing work. Um, I just hope it doesn't get delayed. Well, I I'm of the mentality like a lot of people that if it gets delayed. It's fine as long as they're perfecting it. Yes. Um, and it doesn't come out yeah. as a car crash like Cyberpunk, for example, or the GTA th uh, GTA remasters. Yeah. Or Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness. Like you know, we all wish that was delayed more because um. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure the uh, remaster for that's been delayed indefinitely just to make. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know, man. Maybe one day. What can I say? Well, I reckon it very much depends on the performance of these. Yeah, and and I think it's gonna perform well. I mean, it has everything that I ever wanted and more. I never thought we could have a photo mode on um, on the remasters, man. Imagine, I'm gonna be spending. I'm gonna take a hundred k pictures a game. It's gonna be crazy. I'll be like, whoa, look at this, bang, look at this, bang, look at this, bang. Oh, this looks awesome. Oh, this looks so different. You know? Oh, there's no pointy breasts anymore. Let's take a picture. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be very, very uh, entertained. Let's put it mm. that way. Trophies as well, actually. I keep forgetting about that. I'm not big on trophies, but I Me might either. go for a platinum for this. Yeah, I, th I think the trophies thing is important. A lot of people always want. You know, it offers replay replayability. It gives you mm. a purpose, doesn't it? It's sure. not that you guys need a purpose to replay it, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, definitely not, Seth. How many play? How many times you played through the um, the classic games? Oh, 
Dude. Dozens and dozens, right? I ain't been counting. I mean, like, I think I did the maths one once for it, for at least Angel of Darkness. Um, I can't remember what the answer was, but it's a sad amount, let's say that much. I, I understand. I understand. I, I mean, I, I couldn't play Angel of Darkness more than two, three times. I did, I did but it was, it was hard. And finishing, I only finished that game a few years ago, back in the day. Uh, just, yeah, I might do it if they remastered that game again, but uh, once uh, as well, you know. But we'll see. Anyway, guys. So, first of all, we're gonna do kind of like a game, boys and girls. We're gonna do a game of asking questions. And then we'll see the reactions and responses. Oh, okay, they don't know what I'm what we're gonna talk about. Uh, they don't know what I have in store for them. Neither do I have know what these guys have in store for me. All right. But before that, I just want to talk a little bit about the features that we've seen. Okay. So we can toggle back to the original graphics. We know that. We discussed that already. Okay. Health bars. What do you guys think about health bars? They look good. You know, the nice colorful versions. Um, when they got remastered for the iOS ports, they changed the health bars to these um, modern looking ones. They look really bad. Um, so yeah, I'm glad they kept it faithful. Mm -hmm. And Johnny, what, what, what do you think about the boss's health bars? Because they added the boss's health bar. So now you actually know if you're close to kill an enemy or, or not. Is this essential in the game? I don't think so. I think nah. you're, you're, you're going back for... I mean, they've tried to make it um, appease everyone with it, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, is there a feature to switch it off, maybe? Probably. Because maybe. That's, there must be. Some, some of the, the, you know, the extremists like Seth over here might just be like, no, I don't want this crap because <laughs> I want to do it how I used to do it. Um, and actually that, it's the same with the controllers. Um, yeah, the controllers switching back to tank controls and the modern control, that's pretty good. I think that's really important. I think that's yeah. that, that was one of the main bones of contention that we were speaking about in the last video, right? Um, yeah. And I think it's important that they've catered to both. Uh, Man, I'm, I honestly... Sorry, I, I'm just, I have to say this. I was not expecting that. I was just thinking they were, they were going to choose one and that half of the community would be um, desperate and would be yeah. mad. Oh, yeah. But yeah. the way they did it, hats off. I have to take my hats off. Here we go. Because, man. Seth, take yours off too. Don't leave them hanging. <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> yeah. Hats off. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that they're pleasing oh, absolutely God. everyone. Um, and it's conducive to preservation because that's what it's about. They're preserving. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love it. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, you two are the super fans here. Um, I'm a casual passing fan. Um, but when I pick it up, I'll be playing it as close to the original as possible. I won't. I'll try and not use the newer features. The graphics, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's a lot, you know, it's a lot easier to look at. I know when they remastered the Halo uh, Master Chief collect, uh, collection, um, I tried playing Halo 1 with the classic graphics, and all right, it, it looked okay, but you prefer it in the newer graphics. It's just easier to look at, easier to, you know, go around the environment. Mm. I mean, even though I'm uh, this purist you make me out to be, I uh, wouldn't blame you if you use the new controls, because in all honesty, the old ones are very um, obtuse. Is that the word? There's a lot of quirks to it that me and Ruben are used to, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. to For new sure. players, there's just a lot of oddities that just kind of make no sense. So I wouldn't look down upon you and think you're scum if you use the modern controls. You will. So I promise, I let, wouldn't. Let's not pretend. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... I mean, I played I played the originals, and I remember the controllers being obtuse, as you said. Um, 
but I will try the classic controllers first. And if yeah. I find it too strenuous and torturous and just being like I'm wasting my time, because let's face it, we were a lot more patient as kids. As adults, we don't have that patience. For sure. And we have, I feel like we've got certain expectations, subconscious expectations in gaming now that um, things that we would put up with back then, we just don't now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think because when you're a kid, you have fewer games, or at least in our generation, we'd have way fewer. But nowadays, all these little brats have like hundreds of games at their disposal, especially with Game Pass and all that. So, yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking about that and I think I'll start with the modern controls and if I don't get, if it's too strange to me, I'll just switch it back to the, the tank controls because I know I can play the tank with the tank controls from beginning to end, for sure. Yeah. But I want to try the modern controls to see what's different, how I mean, how's it going to feel, you know? You can do a playthrough of each, maybe there's a trophy for each. Maybe, yeah, that's a good that that's a good uh, good trophy, I guess, right? It makes you play the game twice. Exactly. Or, but the thing is, it might be switchable during during game. Yeah, yeah and, probably. And and if it's switchable during game, probably they won't have like a, a trophy completed the game with tank controls or completed the game with I'm modern like controls. It's it's like when you're, I mean. It's like when you're playing any modern game these days, there will always be a trophy for finishing with a certain difficulty. Ah, oh, true. But true. these days you can switch in the menu at any time. In, in yeah. Times. So I, I imagine but it's 50-50 whether they have the trophy. Yeah. But I, re I reckon they will. They're, they like to milk, with trophies these days, they like to milk anything. So I, I'd be surprised if they didn't include that. True. Also, Ruben, I want to get your opinion on this. This isn't one of the questions, but there's been a lot of confusion as to how modern 360 degree controls will work on the grid system. And I'm confused as to how it wouldn't work. I mean, yeah. you just point the camera in a direction, press forward, Lara will snap to it and press jump. And so as long as you're running a little bit, then she'll do a you know, running jump, like a running jump will still be three blocks. So exactly. I don't know why people are confused and say the level design won't work for it. It it will. A running jump will still be a running jump. You just press jump when our feet reach the edge. You get Exactly. Me? I've seen those comments on, on my video and I did I do get you because I think they're co they're stupid comments. <laughs> I'm being honest. I think people are just trying to um say something bad about the games. Some, I don't know, they're not yeah. worried because it would work. The jump is still three blocks, the siding jump, it, it, it's all the same. It's all yeah. the same, but now you'll probably, it's going to be so much smoother, I guess, I think, right? Yeah. You'll be jumping, uh, I mean, it's going to, I don't think there's a problem. I don't think there's an no. issue. Uh, and, as yeah, go. I'm good at this, I'm good at remastering stuff, so it looks they, like. I don't feel like they're going to screw this up yeah they did a yeah. star wars game Have yeah you tried it you I, can I, attest? I tried a bit of it and um yeah i mean it holds up you, you expect a classic game to play a certain way and it was comfortable enough in what yeah. it was you know i've not played it extensively but maybe i will play a little bit more ahead of tomb raider to see what to expect um, but I feel like they wouldn't be getting the masters back to back and any others that they might have had if they weren't good at it. Yeah, I think so, yeah. And I guess Amazon Games wouldn't, I mean, wouldn't pay this company to, to do the, the remasters if they were not good enough, you know, if they didn't, if they haven't proved themselves yet. Because they're probably paying a lot of money, let's oh, yeah. be honest. Amazon, it's not, you know, they have a lot of money. So if they want to nail this, I think they're probably paying a, a good uh, bill. And to be honest, I've seen a lot of uh, comments on my videos as well that this is um, how they put it. They put it like this is too much for a remaster. It looks like a remake. Oops, I'm going to get demonetized. <sighs> what the hell? <laughs> If a, if a remaster has no quality of life improvements, they're gonna say it's a lazy remaster, which I agree. I know. 
Yeah. If it, if they have lots of features like photo modes, new controls, I mean, they they saying oh this is more than a remake than a, than a remaster. I'm not gonna buy these games. I've seen a few a few comments like that. So they just wanted a, a, a lazy port. That's it. And pay mm. thirty quid? No chance. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's uh, like, like I said before, it's fashionable to be negative and to find something. Yeah, man. You, Don't know yeah. why. Once, once it comes out, and if it's awful, yes, complain about it. But at the moment, all you're looking at is still images and videos of a game that you loved as a kid. Otherwise, yeah. you're looking at it. So, yeah. how can you find faults with it already? I, yeah. I think, to be honest, there's not anything to complain about until you pick it up. Yeah. Mm. There are people saying that it's um, a useless cash grab, and it's like, well... That's Xbox. gaming these days. Yeah. It's, it's all about nostalgia. That, that's the world yeah. we live in. I think their point that they're trying to make is that you can just play them on PC and fans have modded the graphics, and it's like, well, oh, there on. aren't... There, that's just wrong anyway. There are not any mods for all three that yeah. are the textures and the character models and photo mode, and even if there was, you still have to piss about on PC, installing 500 different patches that may or may not work. And, you know, PlayStation players would have to break out their PS3 to play it. Xbox yeah. and Switch players, this will be the first time for them. It's absolutely, um, there is a point for this. Yeah, that's not happened with me, because I am shit. It's making I'm it not... accessible to all players. Yeah. So, what's the yeah. problem? Like... But, Oh, also, another thing for console players, the DLC, the gold levels, that's brand new for console players. So that is super important. I'm super, super excited. excited. Oh, I know. As you know, I haven't played them. Don't tell anyone, because I'm supposed to be this uh, Tomb Raider, YouTuber, or content creator. That never I've played the, the extensions. I have to I, check I'll put your name on, on YouTube to Ruben's Hideout now. Yeah, <laughs> I, I've actually seen um, walkthroughs because I, I was obviously curious about it, but I never, that's it, I don't have time or I'm not intelligent enough to make it work on, uh, on, on the laptop. I'm not. And mm. let's be honest, really? You want a game on a laptop? Screw that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's I have a me. folder full of like mods and fixes and patches that I can't wait to just delete once I'm sure that this is the definitive version <laughs> of these yeah. games. Definitive. Which these will be for sure. Yeah. I'm super excited. Okay. Um, are we going to swing to the questions? Because I'm desperate to ask Seth something. Indeed. <laughs> and you can start, my friend. So, yeah, ask a. Blind question to Seth okay. McKenzie. Seth, what is the absolute worst thing that they could do with these games? Ooh. Hmm. The worst Deep. thing. For the you. Worst... Okay, that's a good question. Probably if they are so buggy that um, it just compromises the overall experience. Like, I don't want to compare it to GTA Definitive Edition, but it's a case of do you gain more than you lose and so yeah if there's a lot of bugs and glitches and like the enemy ai is really weird um like there's this thing called open lara that a lot of people like which is fair enough but it's like everything is kind of off yeah. in that so it's got to feel the same so yeah if it feels technologically inferior um then that's not good because mm -hmm. a lot can go wrong with remasters like um Everyone knows the GTA Definitive Edition, but also there was the Silent Hill HD collection. I don't know if anyone knows about that. That had a lot of problems going on. So yeah, if it's just technologically messed up, then that will be the worst thing. Um, and part of my answer to that actually is a hypothetical question I'm going to ask Ruben later. So I'll sort of come back to that. Okay. I mean, I mean, you can you can ask now. Let's ask now. So. Ruben, how would you feel if they replaced Lara's voice with Camilla's voice and did not allow you to change it back? I will, I will ask for a refund. <laughs> <laughs> no, it has to be... I mean, they're not going to add um, uh, 
anything new in terms of story and uh, voice, will they? Nah, I doubt it. But I mean, hypothetically, nah, just I for fun, if they did get no. Camilla to I redo... Every... No, I would ask for a refund. <laughs> no, man, I wouldn't like it. Even though there's a lot of people that likes Camilla. I actually, like I said before, I don't mind it because first, I'm Portuguese. Like, I'll take whatever they, they, they gave me. I'm not that fuss. But I do understand a lot of Brits don't like Camilla. Which I understand, it's fine. But if it was a new game, I would be less upset than the remasters. I want my Judiths. Yeah. I, I want, want my Judith, Judith there. And the Shelly Bond, Bond, obviously. Love uh, Judith. Judith, it's here in my heart because Tomb Raider 2, it's, it was my first Tomb Raider game. And, um, and to be honest, the one with more lines. I mean, Tomb Raider 3 as well. Uh, but Judith Diff. So... She did both games, and she had definitely more lines than um, Shelly Blonde. So she is my one to go. And if they, if if they would have changed that, I would be so upset. Absolutely, without an option to change back as well, that would be oh, I'd go crazy. Oh man, they can't. Do it. <laughs> they wouldn't do that. First, they were gonna lose money. They just had to pay a VA to, uh, for to change whatever it was. Then no, they're not gonna do it. Right. Let me ask a question now. Johnny, you, that you are new to this, not new, but you're not as crazy for Tomb Raider as we are, is there anything you don't like the look of on the remasters? The no. changes that they did? No. Are you um, okay? Yeah, because uh, I'm not that, not that hung up on the originals. <laughs> Here we go. Um, I I enjoyed the originals. I played them when I was a kid, but I didn't extensively play them. Uh, mm -hmm. And I feel like it's it's a teaser cliche. It's a slam dunk. I don't really think there's much margin for error here, mm -hmm. uh, provided that you can play the game well and it's not buggy. Um, my main concern was to do with the controllers because yeah. Um, some people were upset that it might be new controllers, some people yeah. think that might be the old controllers, but the fact that they've addressed that, I don't know if they addressed that early um, when they put it in the trailer or if they've addressed it since. I don't know if they went back and did, you know, did a bit of research, see, see what people might want. Yeah, so I don't know if they maybe added that later. So it, yeah, I, they did have it in the initial announce, announcement did, on Crystal's blog, but they didn't explain it very well. They just said modern controls, but now they've said it will be like legend, actually. So you'll love it. Yeah. So I, oh wow, well, even better. Uh, <laughs> do you do you know what they could have actually done it? They could have have the the the, the modern controls controls done and ready to put in the game. They probably did it, but with all the backslash. Or with other comments that people are saying, uh, you know, it won't feel the same game if it's not with tank controls, blah, blah, blah. They could have added the tank controls after because they have a, the, the original um, source code, right? Yeah, I feel like they may have done that. And I don't, think, I don't think we'll ever get a definitive answer on that. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, because whenever you put out a product, you say, well, this is exactly how we planned. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. If it but goes obviously but um yeah no i don't for me from what i've seen um i don't i don't think they've done a lot wrong the only thing that they could do wrong is to not follow up if they do well if they don't follow up with a brand new game announcement they'll miss out yeah that's the only thing that they could go wrong but obviously that's not really got much to do with the remasters but i think yeah. the success of the new game will very much go on the back of the coattails of the remasters because it will make the classic fans you know it might i think some classic fans may be a little bit disillusioned with the new trilogy because it's i mean i, I can see by seth's face that he's a little bit on the fence about it the new mm -hmm. trilogy. and i feel like throwing out this game could remind people what they loved about team raider i agree absolutely shall i answer yeah, let me uh, do another one. Seth. Oh, yeah. I got a good one. 
What will you do? How would you feel if they change the weapons menu and add a shortcut button to change the weapon? I like the different GTA. <laughs> well, so yeah, like a weapon wheel, I think would be good. But if they also have the ring inventory, I think that's important. Um, yeah, I was thinking about this. Um, you know, it would be good if there's like a button you can hold to have like a quick select thing. Like L, um, L1, that... play, L, L1 and the uh, X or L1 and the uh, right or left, yeah. right? Something like that. Yeah. Or, um, yeah, anything. I'm sure they can work it out. Or, um, you know, holding L1 and R1 or something. Yeah. Um, just as, as long as it doesn't replace the ring menu, then... Because I think, I think their blog recently said that they're working on additions rather than revisions. So, yeah. But I'd be upset if they got rid of the ring menu. But then you don't spend that much time in it. But then I'm used to PC, actually, in That's... recent years, just pressing, like, two for shotgun. Next. Who's uh, who's gonna... I got is, there, is there any questions yet? Yeah. Any more questions? Yeah. Uh, um, Ruben, so as much as you <laughs> want this <laughs> game to sell well, do you think it will? I think it will sell enough for um, for them to do uh, the other two or three remasters of the next two or three classic games. You think they will? I think they will. I think they will because okay. first first thing, if it's on the Switch, accessibility. A lot of people will be like, oh yeah, I want to have this game on the go. It'll be on the Switch too by then. Because uh, that's getting announced in September, I think, or coming out in September. I don't know. That's that's true. First, because of that. Second, because even if you're not a hardcore fan that's gonna pre-order the game straight away like we did, if you played the uh, the the latest trilogy and you enjoyed the trilogy, there's a there's a good chance that you're gonna pay for for this to, just to feel how the the old Tomb Raider feels like these days because what from from all the surveys that, that i did and all the comments that i get from uh, new new starters you know the reboot starters that i used to call they always said that one of the reasons that they never played the classics are because they couldn't get to it you know, it was, they didn't have a pc or they didn't uh, have a ps1 or ps2 or ps3 that they could play the games on so i think there will be enough people interested to sell well now is it going to sell well? Is it, is it 500,000 copies or, you know, a million copies? Who knows? I, um, to be honest, before it was announced, I always thought such a remaster probably wouldn't sell that well. But actually, seeing a lot of comments on the trailer for YouTube and even when, like, PlayStation on Facebook have, you know, talked about it, there's <laughs> a lot of people that are like, Oh yeah, I forgot about these games. I want to lock Winston in the freezer again, and or they're tagging other people. And so I actually do expect it to sell pretty damn well. So yeah, yeah, I think. And yeah, like you said, people that got into it with reboot, they're <laughs> going to be curious to see where it began. <laughs> and just think, if they can mention in another trailer that there is refined controls or optionally retuned, modernized controls, then a lot of people will be like, yeah, I'm getting that. Because a lot of the comments are, you know, oh, are the controls still bad? So if they can just clarify that in a trailer or something, yeah. But either way, yeah, I think it will do pretty well. Pretty well. Yeah, I think well, so. What's that? What's, what's that, that pretty well? well? Well, I don't know numbers, but I'm going to say well enough to make them think about doing and a 4 and 5 remaster and maybe a 6 remaster. Yeah, I'd, I'd, for be, sure. I'd be very surprised if they stuck to that era if they did another remaster. Um, if you look around the gaming industry, when they do remasters, they, they tend to pick on the most popular. They don't always go for the others, but I could be wrong. Yeah. I, 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 would, I would expect they would go from 1 to 3 and then potentially remaster the Legend Trilogy. I think they'd do that job. Yeah. I, I, Plus, yeah. Because I, I feel like you're doing it almost twice. If you re, you're, you're almost doing the same thing twice if you remaster the 
the others from the PS1 era. And I, I think, I mean, this is just me spitballing, um, but I think people wouldn't take as well to the second lot um, if it was the PS1 yeah. era as opposed to but, the Legend Trilogy. But, but I think they've already got the technology in place. So I think the the setup costs would be gone because it's already been sort of done. So they would, um, it's a low cost kind of thing anyway. Therefore, yeah. I think because it's a small project, it will be fine. They have a lot less to lose. So I think they could get away with it. How long do you, um... oh, well, I guess I could use this as my next question. Um, yeah. Seth, how long do you reckon they, they worked on this? How long do you think it took them to from start to finish? I have wondered, but it's hard to say because Crystal always said, no, we've lost the source code or just been silent about it. Um, I mean, it, maybe they started when Embracer took over because it seems a bit convenient that they happened to announce it when Embracer took over. But oh, yeah. um, for how, how far they are, I feel like they must have been doing something for longer. So a year or a year and a half let's say so you think it's just been that quick okay i guess they're not, they're not building a new game they're just exactly uh, yeah by the way i'm always saying amazon 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 games and i'm what the, what the, i mean embrace the group the hell amazon is just a publisher right they're getting paid to do it i think they're financing the next profit line one but yeah, I was going to say AI is a big thing these days, so that's going to help with textures and refining character models. So yeah, maybe they haven't needed as much time as they might have five years ago. True. Could have been a quick win, yeah. Yeah. True. Okay, I have a question for Ruben. That's yes. That's how you pronounce your name technically, isn't it? It is indeed, Ruben. sir. Well, how would you feel if... So hopefully there's an extras menu and... Um, you know, it has like Lara's biography and stuff like that. How would you feel if they rewrote Core's classic bio into reboot Lara's bio? I feel like you're just trying to wind them up now. No chance. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Because that would be rewriting history. That, that would be rewriting ris uh, history. That would be uh, disregarding all the classic fans. Like... These games never existed, or they did, but they're just not good enough. I mean, there's a lot of things lacking on the story. We all know that. But to connect with the reboot in some sort of way, it's mind-blowing. That's not going to happen. They can't. They're not the same person, right? Yeah, it'd be disrespectful to Core Design's original work. So that's and it. That also makes me hope that there is a core design logo on the game opening, even though they don't exist. Because if there's a big ass Crystal Dynamics logo, yeah, yeah, Seth, what are you gonna do? You're, um, yeah. gonna, you're gonna punch the screen. I will go ape and I will take out the metaphorical disc and snap it. No, I'm joking. You'll just you'll just snap some random uh, mixtape you made in 2007 instead. <laughs> I'll smash yeah. the PS5 up and send an extra bit to Crunchy Dynamics. No, I'm joking. I'm not that crazy. Right, I got a question. We're nearly in the end, guys. Don't freak out, okay? I got a question for Seth. There are rumors that Nathan McCree is working on a new soundtrack. A soundtrack of the remasters do you think and i think i think that's accurate i think he is working on something for his um own little project own little project. project do you think that's going to get included on the remasters or if there's going to be an option to change the classic music to a remastered one no i don't think so because i mean no. I, i've heard from a lot of people over the years that nathan just seems like a horrible person so I wouldn't blame them for not approaching him to do anything. And um, I don't know. I love how he's a horrible person. <laughs> like, <laughs> nah, I mean, I've seen him say some things on Twitter and then delete it and stuff. Um, so, yeah, not that I can prove it because he's deleted it. But I just wouldn't blame Aspire for not approaching him. Um, and so the thing is, 
would they do new music? It would just be extra cost. I just don't think they will. Remakes usually get that, like Crash and Spyro, which are definitely remakes and not remasters. Uh, but Tomb Raider is a remaster, and so I just don't think they would. If they did, they would hopefully include an option to have the old music still. My, My cat, cat again. again. <laughs> uh, but I, I understand that, and but I don't think it would be outrageous for them to have um, the remaster soundtrack because. I do, in fact, know a lot of remasters that they have remastered music, my friend. Because they're so iconic. Do you mean fan remixes or no, no, do no, you no, mean... no, 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 no. New, new music, new music, high quality versions or orchestrate um, music as well. I've seen a lot of remasters that they have that, my friend. I mean, well, yeah. So. Uh -oh. I won't lie, like, I think, um, going a little bit off topic, I played Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3, I think it was on PS2, and it had a certain soundtrack, and then when I bought it years later for, I don't know what you want to call it, a, a, a port, an Xbox 360 port, the music was completely different, and that threw me off, I hated it. Okay, it, it happened, happened, but the music being different threw me off. It happened the same with Dragon Quest XI. So when Dragon Quest XI, I'll, sh I'll show the, the picture here so everyone can see. When Dragon Quest XI was out for PS4, they had just a normal sound. And then when they released it on the Switch, it came with the orchestra sound. Man, it all depends. Imagine if they, for this game, for this digital, they go with the classic one and then if they do uh, a hard copy uh, of the games. They can include this Nathan McCree's remastered soundtrack. It's not uh, very. It's not like a big deal. They usually people usually do it. Yeah, games usually, usually do it. Well, we'll see. I mean, basically, the original music was always available in CD quality, and they so they that's good. good enough. Yeah. So it's not like it was compressed and all that. So I think it's fine. Yeah. yeah. I do have one more question for Ruben. So uh, may I? Yeah, go for it. Are you going to prioritize the Tomb Raider remasters or Final Fantasy? I will definitely play the remasters first. Obviously, because they are out first. But I don't know if I'm going to play all of them first. Let's put it that way. <laughs> because... Man. Because... Sorry guys, but... I've played these games before, even though I love them so much. I've played the, this, these games before, and I am going to play it. Imagine, if I only have one hour to play, that's definitely Tomb Raider that I'm going to play. I'm but, definitely unsubscribing, mate. Sorry. But on the 29th, if... Yeah, if Rebirth... When Rebirth comes out... I think it's gonna be Rebirth only. I mean, I, I genuinely can't remember how long these games are. Like, how many hours are we talking for each one? 10 to first, maybe? Not even. Yeah, if you're new to it, I'd say 10 hours. Yeah. Man, man. That's 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 an hour a night for just over a week. <laughs> I mean, I can definitely do much more than that, and I will probably finish Tomb Raider 2 for sure, and maybe Tomb Raider 1. But Tomb Raider 3, it's a little bit longer and a little bit uh, harder. I'll start with 2, definitely. Yeah, no, 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 I'm starting with 2. Because it's the game that I love so much. Second... Because I played recently um, Tomb Raider 1, and um, now 2, I'm lost. Look, look, look behind me. This, oh, might, yeah. <laughs> this might very be the Bartoli's hideout in the remasters, and I can't wait to get in there. I mean, uh, yeah, I uh, understand. When I got the Crash uh, trilogy, I went straight to Crash 3, because that's the one I fell in love with. Yeah. I did go back and play Crash 1, <clears> and 3, and 2. Um, and but with the GTA games, because I'd played three first, I played through three. I completed San Andreas so many times, so I went through three, then went through Vice City, 
and then went to San Andreas. Funnily enough, the one I enjoyed the most was Vice City. <laughs> so your favourite can change. Yeah, Tomb Raider 2 was my favourite, actually. Um, I still love it to death, but yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'll start with Tomb Raider 3 because it starts in India and it's such a beautiful location, but then OCD will make me go to Tomb Raider 1 first and play them yeah. in order. Yeah, man, I thought about it, and <clears throat> if I, if Final Fantasy wasn't coming out on the 29th, I would probably play in order, but I just can't. Shame. No, what? it's all good. Responsibilities, eh? Always getting in the way of gaming. True. <laughs> but one thing I can tell you, I'll be freaking locked in as soon as the <laughs> game is out. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. lights off, cup of tea, you know, speakers full blast. Yeah. You're uh, you're you're talking about us in Britain who are bloody freezing. He's in Madeira, he doesn't get cold. For us we 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 sit in because we've got nothing else to do because it's freezing outside and you don't want to go out. He's in the heat. He can go out <laughs> to the beach tomorrow if he wants to. Yeah. True. Hebel He's beach. just got from playing volleyball, you know? Yeah. And to be honest, I have the sweater here. Uh, and I just want to take it off because I'm sweating already. <laughs> you can take it off if you want. No one's going to stop <clears throat> you, bro. Off camera. <laughs> or maybe, maybe if I do it in camera, I probably get more views than a few moments later. Oh, don't bring up that snaky little cunt. <laughs> Let's keep it cordial, guys. Let's keep it cordial. Okay. No negativity here. I didn't realize I was in a Pornhub video now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's not gonna happen. I do, I did, you know, I usually do watch her videos. Not really. <clears throat> Just because I don't like it. Yeah, don't give her the views, man. Don't endorse her. I don't care about the views, I just literally... I tried a few times to listen to her and to agree with her. See, because she likes Tomb Raider, right? She likes classic Tomb Raider. <clears throat> But I just can't, and let's not talk about her. <laughs> plus, she plus she ignored me a few months ago, <clears throat> a few months ago, a few years ago. When I, do you know, do you remember when I did that survey? <clears throat> I did reach to cotton creators to see if they could um, get the word around, and all of them responded to me apart from her. So. Um, I I do hope you're taking some of this out, otherwise you might create a YouTube beef. <laughs> Which could be good for the channel, you know? It could be, you know? That's the... Uh, you might have to I'd... come up with a response video. I would yeah. recommend taking all of stuff out. If you do keep it in, keep in that I called her a little... Because she is. She really genuinely is. A... Maybe... Maybe... I'll still keep it. But I'll take the name so she doesn't know who we're talking about. Okay. Everyone will know apart from her. Okay, yeah, take out the name. That's a good idea. Yeah. But I'm not saying names. No, it's not you. You're thinking it's you, but it's not you, so. <laughs> it's, it's Seth. It's definitely Seth. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Right, boys. Time to wrap up. Seth and Johnny. As always, it's been a pleasure. And hopefully another trailer will come out so we can do this again. Hmm? Yeah. What do you guys think? Are you up for it? I mean, yes. uh, we're, we're a few weeks away from the release. Maybe maybe the next video could be a reaction to the release. Yeah. For sure. Seeing it generally. See how he's taking it. Yes, let's do that. It's a, it's a you know, deal. Boys promise. We're going to do it. Anyway, guys, I hope you are excited for these games. I hope you're excited for the expansions. And I hope you are excited for all the change they made so far. And with that being said, Raiders, I want to hear from you. Tell me, are you going to buy it? Have you bought it? Are you enjoying it, the, the news so far? Do you expect more news? Let me know in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bartol is Hideout signing out, thanks for watching, stay safe! And until our next adventure... Yes, we <laughs> did it this time! <laughs> Boys, a pleasure, thanks very much!
See you soon. All right. See you.